How would you approach building a large-scale angular application with multiple modules and components? Building a large-scale angular application with multiple modules and components requires careful planning and organization. Here are some steps that can be taken to approach such a project. Define the application architecture. Start by defining the architecture of the application. This includes deciding on the high-level design of the application, such as the overall layout and structure of the application, as well as the technologies and frameworks that will be used. Identify the modules. Next, identify the modules that will be needed for the application. This includes breaking down the application into smaller, manageable chunks, such as user authentication, data management, and user interface components. Each module should have a specific purpose and be responsible for a specific set of tasks. Define the components. Within each module, define the components that will be used. Components should be defined based on their specific tasks and responsibilities. For example, a component for displaying user data might be defined as well as a component for managing user data. Plan the data flow. Once the modules and components have been defined, plan the data flow between them. This includes deciding on the input and output data for each component as well as the communication between components. It is important to ensure that data flows efficiently and accurately between components. Define the services. Define the services that will be used within the application. Services are responsible for handling specific tasks within the application, such as fetching data from a backend API or handling user authentication. Each service should be defined based on its specific task and responsibility. Develop and test the application with the architecture, modules, components, data flow, and services defined. Start developing and testing the application. Begin by creating the core components and services and then move on to creating the individual modules and components. Test each component and module as they are developed to ensure that they function correctly. Refine and optimize the application. Once the application has been developed and tested, refine and optimize the application. This includes optimizing the performance of the application as well as improving the user experience. Deploy the application. Finally, deploy the application to a production environment. This includes ensuring that the application is secure, reliable, and scalable, and that it meets the needs of the users. Overall, building a large-scale Angular application requires careful planning and organization. By defining the application architecture, identifying the modules and components, planning the data flow, defining the services, developing and testing the application, refining and optimizing the application, and deploying the application, developers can create a robust and efficient application that meets the needs of the users. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe.